This video is sponsored by Blinkist. I bought two broken PS5 DualSense controllers and today I'm gonna try and fix them. So this is the first PS5 DualSense controller that I bought broken. You can see this one has a problem with the thumbstick. I don't know if the analog stick's bad. We'll have to take this one apart. And let's see what's wrong with this one. Oh, here we go. Got a faulty headphone jack right here. I don't know if there's anything else wrong. This one turns on. Let's see if this one turns on. Yep, this one also turns on. So they both turn on, that's good news. So let's start with this one. It's definitely gonna need this thumbstick replaced. Let's see if there's anything wrong internally. All right, and here's the first problem. This little ring right here is caught around the thumbstick. That ring needs to go right here, just like it is over on this side. That is, if the ring is still good, I have to get it off of this thumbstick and see if it's still good or not. Okay, there we go. It actually looks fine. And now we need to install this part back onto here like it just kind of slips in there in those little grooves. Okay, easy enough. That looks good, fits on here just like that one, so that's just fine. So next, I gotta put a new thumbstick on here. Now I don't have any brand new thumbsticks for the PS5 DualSense controller, so let's try one from the DualShock 4. This is the damaged one from the DualSense controller. This is one from a DualShock controller. They look pretty close to the same. The DualSense controller stick is taller, so I'm not sure if that's gonna change how it's gonna fit onto this motherboard. If nothing else, I can't always clean this one up and get it to work until I can get a replacement, but I would like to get one on there that'll work better. So let's put this on real quick and just see what it looks like. Okay, let's put it back in, see what it looks like from the outside. All right, and here we go. Actually, that doesn't look too bad. And it actually feels pretty good as well. Now I've got the thumbsticks in, we got the battery carrier in, the motherboard in. Now, just need to fully install the battery, put the back cover on, install the screws and buttons, then we can test it. Before I get to the testing on this PS5 DualSense controller, I wanna talk about today's sponsor, Blinkist. For most people, 2020 has been a long, hard year, and you may be thinking about the things you didn't get around to in 2020, or the goals you have for 2021, or maybe even both. If you wanna work on being your best self in 2021, care about the world around you, and wanna make sure your time is well spent, then Blinkist is for you. You get the best insights from over 3,000 books condensed into just 15 minute segments. You can read them or listen to them podcast style. Blinkist has over 14 million users and you can get access to all your books offline. Blinkist even has full length audiobooks. Premium subscribers get special member pricing of up to 65% off the retail price. And one of my favorite features is shortcasts. Blinkist has teamed up with lots of popular podcast creators to shorten them up and get to the heart of the podcast fast. I know a lot of my viewers watch my videos because they want to start repairing electronics on their own to bring in some extra income. One of the books on Blinkist that I recommend is Employee to Entrepreneur, How to Earn Your Freedom and Do Work That Matters. One of the books I'm gonna be reading through Blinkist is The Lazy Genius Way. 
Embrace what matters, ditch what doesn't, and get stuff done. Now that sounds like a book for 2021. The first 100 people to go to my link are going to get unlimited access for one week to try it out. You'll also get 25% off if you want to try the full membership. The seven-day trial is completely free and you can cancel at any time during the trial period. So if you're looking to learn something new or expand your knowledge quickly, go to my link in the description to try out Blinkist. Now let's get back to these DualSense controllers. Now let's check it out and see if it all works. And these numbers right here, the axis numbers, are all staying exactly the same. That tells me that these analog sticks are working fine, and this PS5 DualSense controller is fixed. Let's move on to the next one. So this one definitely has a problem right here where the headphone jack is and where the charge pins are. I don't know if there's anything else wrong. I'm gonna go ahead and plug this into the gamepad tester just to see if there's anything else wrong. And then if not, we'll get to repairing this problem. And with this second DualSense 5, there's absolutely no issues on the thumbsticks and all the other buttons work. I did just now notice that the R1 button is missing. So we got B4 over here is L1 and B5 is R1. So when I press L1, B4 does register. So as far as I can tell, this is the main issue we need to fix. This does need to be fixed at some point. I don't have any extra parts for that right now, so that's not something we can fix. I do need to look in the box and make sure they didn't include that. I'm guessing they probably didn't though. So let's take a look and see how broken this piece is right here. Now these tabs right here are broken off. I'm not sure what happened with this. I'm guessing maybe somebody was trying to pry it open or something. I don't really know, but somebody's definitely tried to do something with this. Just have to get this back cover off, and then we can see how badly damaged this is and whether the motherboard itself is damaged or not. Okay, and here we go. So the first thing I see is all of these solder pads have been broken off. So the little copper pads that are normally here have been broken off and they are now attached to this port itself. So that's gonna have to be fixed. It looks like the port itself is possibly salvageable. It'll look a little funny because this piece is broken off, but I think for the most part, I can probably fix it enough to get it to work. The problem right now is these are so new that there's not really any parts out there available. So unless I buy another one of these broken DualSense controllers to use as parts, there's just not really much I can do about stuff like this for now. At some point in the future, hopefully in a few months, we will have parts available for these, but right now they are just not available. The other thing that I see is there's two pins here and two pins here that need to be soldered on. I'm not sure that I can do that. Maybe I can. Let's look at it here. So maybe it's possible. It's pretty tough though, because those are down here, kind of like under this lip. So now I have to get the board all the way out. Then we can get in and see what we can fix on this thing. So this is what we have. You can see all of these pads have been torn off of the board. Also over here, we are missing one, two, two components. This one looks like it goes right here, so that is fixable, no problem. This one right here, we need to re-solder it looks like. And that looks like the major issue. So here's the problem with this repair. I don't have this component and I don't have this component. So unfortunately, this board is just not gonna be fixable for me yet. At some point, I'll get another one of these controllers that will have this part on it, or it is possible I'll use this board for parts. But unfortunately, there's no point in me fixing this whole thing if I don't have, especially this component right here because this one looks like probably a resistor or something, and this line is completely broken without that resistor there. One of the things that's gonna be very difficult about this type of repair is we have this here and this here, this one, and then there's another pad right here that will have to be soldered on right onto this part of the board. And you can see how this fits on here. That will be extremely difficult. Not impossible, but very, very difficult. 
So unfortunately, at least for today, this PS5 controller is not going to be fixable. But keep an eye on my channel if I get the parts so I can do that soldering job. I will definitely make a video about it. Don't forget to go to the link in the description to visit our sponsor, Blinkist. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a good one.